the Paracord Globe Nut New Year's Edition with uh, three strands and two colors Paracord Key Fob or New Year's Ornament. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Alpha 1982, your YouTube Paracord community. Today we're gonna create this awesome Paracord Ornament or a Key Fob. Uh, for today's project we're gonna use this red and white paracord with the green on it and the green paracord 550 also we're gonna use the keyring and here as you can see we created on the top of the globe the diamond knot with the ending of the cobra or solomon knot so to compare these two projects this is the uh, two strands two color uh, globe knot key fob and this is the three strands but also two color uh, actually green and red and green combo one of the strands I hope that you will like this video if you do don't forget to leave a like share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to uh, hit that bell button so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video that being said let's start with the project enjoy so for this project we're gonna use the standard ping pong ball we also gonna need the red and the green combo paracord actually here we have two separate pieces of red and green we have one red and one green paracord 550 the length of the each one of these cords is around 12 feet or 4 meters uh, primarily we're gonna use this uh, green and red combo with the green and this red one we're gonna use on the end for the bow tie or ending of our paracord ornament so that being said we're gonna start I'm gonna put aside this green one and we're gonna start with this red and green camo uh, combo sorry so take the ends of a cord and find the center like so take the other set of a cord and pull it to find the center now when we have the center of the both cords or both strands as you wish let me just zoom a bit okay we're gonna start I'm gonna pull it a bit to the one side and we're gonna create uh, five passes around fingers So as you can see, one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna take a quick measurement to see that we have the equal length of a cords on the end as we here have, as you can see. Now we're gonna take this end or those two cords and we're gonna simply pull it from the top side I'm gonna make a gap like this and we're gonna take these two and make it on top of the first two cords then under the second two on top of the third pair of cords and on uh, and under the fourth one so on top of the first one under the second one Make sure that each cord goes their way. So here we have a tangled. Let me just rearrange it. One next to the other, like so. From here, we're gonna take these two and go under, over, under, over. Now from here we're gonna make the turn we're gonna pass between those two fingers and we're gonna turn to the other side 
Now from here, we're gonna make it as we did with this set of accords. So we're gonna go on top of the first, under the second, on top of the third and under the fourth. As you can see we have identical uh, passing for those chords on top, under, on top, under now from here we're gonna simply take this end and we're gonna go again under over, under, over And from this side, we're gonna pass around and we're gonna go under this first two, on top of those second two and proceed at that pace. So under, on top, then under. And then again on top. We're gonna make sure that the chords are the same sides, okay? And from here, we're gonna simply take this end, make it on top of those two chords, and we're gonna go from here under these two chords here, like so, under. And now we're gonna make it on top of those two, under these two, on top of these two, and under the last two. If you find this hard to follow, uh, you have in the top right corner of this video and also down in the description of this video the link to the video with just two colors so you will have the clear picture what can you do or what you should do but I think this is the clear also so from here on top of this one and under the last two I'm gonna just pull it a bit here and we're gonna make it from here under those two chords on the end and we're gonna pull it through like so and now from here I'm gonna turn it around and we're gonna find this end here so basically as you can see we're following the pattern and we have from the each side the chords making their way on top of those first two chords and then under the second and on top of the third etc etc so we need to break this pattern by inserting these two chords under those two first chords here on top of those next two chords and then under the next one or next ones and on top of those last two chords okay now we need to tie this a bit singe it and we're gonna insert our ping pong ball into it and we're gonna start making the ball shape of our paracord
a quick look here. Here we have the uh, two strand globe nut in just two colors and here we have the almost finished globe nut with the two colors or two strand of paracord but here we're gonna insert the first strand so we're gonna take the feed and we're gonna insert here where the cord exits between those two uh, red and the green paracord I'm gonna just zoom a bit so you can clearly see and we're gonna proceed We're gonna follow the pattern as it is. So as you can see we pulled the green all the way through now we just need to tie this up and we're gonna proceed So as you can see we tightened our globe nut and we have a perfect structure of a globe. It's kind of a big one. Uh, let's compare it to the previous project we did. As you can see it's uh, quite bigger. And now we're gonna take this six strand and we're gonna create the diamond knot on top of this globe. We're gonna do so by simply taking the first cord you want and make it on top of the next one. I'm gonna zoom a bit so you can clearly see. So I have this one and I'm gonna make it on top of the next one and with the second one here I'm gonna make it around and on top of this Now I'm gonna go and turn it and make it on top of the green now the green will go around this one and on top of the next one it's a red and green now the red and green gonna go around on top of the green and also on top of the next red and green like like this and from here we're gonna take this bottom red and green and make it on top of the first one and on top of the green here and we're gonna do the same with the green one around on top of the red and green and here we started with this red and green so we're gonna finish it with this green pass it through this red and green here Okay, so now from here, let me just rearrange a bit these cords, okay. So from here, we're gonna take the first cord, let's say this one, the green, 
and you see the green passes through this loop here now we're gonna pull it around this red and green so around and through the middle here basically where it exits uh, the first loop you're gonna pull it through so now we're gonna take this red and green and it passes through here so the first loop is this green here we're gonna pull it through that loop and through the middle on the top like so and we're gonna continue now we have this red and green passing through this green here so we're gonna make it around this red and green and through and through the middle as simple as that so here we have the green from here so we're gonna take the green make it around the red and green here and pull it through the middle so you're gonna do exactly the six times with the six chords as we have six chords so here the next one passing through here so we're gonna take it and make it through the next one the next one is green so we're gonna pull it through the green and through the middle like so and now this next one heading through the green we're gonna make it through the next one the next one is this uh, red and green so we're gonna pull it through and through the middle and by doing uh, this last pull through we finished our diamond knot now I'm just gonna pull the ends of a cord and you will see we have formed the diamond shape now we're gonna just tight it up and pull it these cords or the diamond shape closer to the globe so now when we tightened our diamond knot close to the globe we can finish it with the finish knot uh, we can use the scaffold knot the half hitch knot the overhand knot the snake knot or my favorite knot the cobra or the basic solomon so from here we're gonna take the green and red and green paracord uh, from the one side across each other and as you can see we have two chords here two chords here so we're gonna take these two We're gonna take the key ring and we're gonna pull these two strands through this key ring and now we're gonna take this one on top of the core strands like so and with the green on top of this green and red combo and to the back and from the back to the loop on the right side And we're gonna pull it to make it tight and we're gonna proceed again the green and red on top the green on top of the green and red from the back through the loop on the left and through So here we are, we finished with the Cobra Weave, now we're gonna cut off the X of the cord, melt it down. And 
and we are finished i hope that you like this video if you do don't forget to leave a like share this video with your friends and family and if you're not subscribed consider subscribing and hit the bell button so you'll be notified whenever we post a new content so that being said until the next time i wish you just best stay safe be well and see you soon in the next video see ya bye